Lupe it? Fiasco, Drogus Light. Mm. I'm kind of glad that this thing cut off. But then again, maybe not, because I think out of all the interview, uh, of all the reactions we've done, this is the one where I was the most upset. I'd give this album a 3 out of 10. And that's been generous. So if you're a fan of Lupe, don't check this out. Now check it, you'll fucking hate it, like I did. If you like Taylor Swift, check this album out. You'll love it. I mean, I'm looking forward to Jogos. This is the one where I was like, legitimately like, really pissed off. Do you remember the way I reacted? Yes, that's when right. You were, you hated that shit. I fucking because Ted Cell on Youth was so fucking dope. I, it was like his comeback album. It was his next classic. And I truly believe it still is a classic. Cause I, I fucked with, with that album so much. There was so much to it. And then to go from that to Drogo's Light and him doing Wushu and shit, promising like four fucking albums. And then fucking I don't know what the fuck he's doing. So I'm still angry about it now. <laughs> I go back there for two two tracks. Dopamine lit. That's and dope. jump. Yeah, the first uh, first bit of the album was yeah. really good. There were two tracks on there that I fucking really loved and go back to all the time. The rest of the album can suck my dick because it's so radio fucking pop, lace fucking heavy, and I, I just don't know what the fuck he was thinking. Uh, and then he fucking uh, reviewed his own album. <laughs> so I feel exactly the same as when I first listened to it, and I haven't fucking gone back to it. Fuck that album. Fuck Lupe. Fuck you, piece of fucking shit. You're my fucking <laughs> classic. You're my top five albums of all time. I still fucking hate you now. I don't hate you, Lupe, but um, you know, I just go there for that album for tracks, a couple bangers on there. The rest is pretty forgettable. Yeah, yeah. Lord knows if I said it is gospel. Your mama, but I don't, I don't.